Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this, I'm going to show you a really easy way to add comment threads to your Django app. So we'll be letting users add comments, reply to comments, and then also show each user's profile with the Gravatar API. Essentially tie a photo to your to anyone's email address and add our sample comments by loading initial data into the Django database. This is a nice technique to know as well. Click and set up our app. As usual, we're creating an app called Sim. Just do the setup and you'll see, yep, there's our app pop up. So as usual, we want to go to settings and then go down to installed apps, add in the app that we've just added, Sim. Also add the Humanize app, which is a, way, a neat little way of related data from numbers to words that humans can read more easily. That comes with Django. Okay, now we're gonna add our templates. So go to create a, a folder in Sim called templates and then create a file based HTML. And then we're gonna copy this in. As you can see, we've got lots of style here and then our block content here. So we're gonna be rendering, we're gonna have this as our base here, partials, and then we create underscore comments.html in the partials folder. And then we go down and copy this in. And then we create a, another file, this time in the, just in the templates by a folder here called comments.html. And then we copy that in. And then we wanna create a reply again in the same, templates but not the partials in here so in sim templates called reply.html and copy again as you can see you get a quick description you can see we're using the partials here and we're using the partials here for each comment we are but we're using the base and extending that one correction here we need partials to be inside the templates folder so the correct structure is here you see templates and then partials inside templates and then each of the templates that are not partials inside templates. So everything should, all the HTML should be inside templates. And yeah, just keeping all this present, all this presentation on the Django on the server side really makes testing it and keeping hold of the state much easier than compared to say using a JavaScript framework. Okay, now we add our custom template tags for the Gravatar API, which will, is the thing to show the image that is profile picture image that is tied to the user's email. So we will do this by creating in Sim a template tags directory template tags, all one word, that is what Django expects. And then we create a file inside template tags called custom underscore tags.py. This is a bit, I should mention this because I remember this being confusing the first time that I encountered this. This is like a bit of Django magic in that Django will detect the template tags, will go into the template tags folder and then load these custom tags, which we register here and we've registered MD5. So yeah, in case you're wondering how on earth is that connected, this is Django detects it automatically, provided you have that correct folder name of one word template tags. Okay, and now we're gonna add our forms in Sim again. We create a file called forms.py and then copy, paste it in. As you can see, just a simple form with one model and I'll add that just to make it perfect compliant by adding another space. Now we're gonna add our views. We're just going to views in Sim and then we've got our views here which I'll paste in and then talk about. So let's paste it in. And as you can see here, we have uh, to get our comments. And so we're just gonna get all of them in the database. And then for a reply, it, we link the particular comment ID and get that comment as a parent. And then this allows, our, if the form is valid, then we can add a new comment with the previous comment as its parent. This is a neat way of doing things. And so you're gonna have a whole tree of, of in, infinite depth of comments on top of other comments. And this also allows us to have an anonymous user who can replace this to allow users to require users to be logged in if you wanted. And then if I move my giant head out of the way, we assign the author to the anonymous user that we've just created and then save and then redirect to the comments page. Okay, let's continue. So first we'll update our core URLs here for our top level to include sim. So copy that and paste that over, easy. And now we need to create a URLs file in sim, urls.py, copy this. Paste it in, as you can see, uh, based on the URL, we'll then ma match that it, the integer, which will be the comment ID, and then route that to reply here, and then pick up that comment ID there. Okay, and now we want to add our database structure for storing the comments. So go to Sim, and then Models, and then we're going to copy this in just our, we have one model, which is a comment model. It should be fairly explanatory. That's that parent that I mentioned earlier, and it's going to self. So that means it's a foreign key that links to other objects in the same database table. Essentially, just link, it can link to other instances of comment. We will make the migrations. So let's go down to terminal. If I move again my giant, gigantic head out of the way and then run. There we go. 
Now we've created our database, which we should see pop up. There it is, DB SQLite. Now we're going to load comment data into our database. We do this to add some initial data to check how the app looks. You could do this manually, like I said, the slow way. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what, a, what a snooze. Um, it's much better to use this given how simple it is, as you'll see. I can scroll down to copy it. We'll use my data. Feel free to change it if you want, but you might as well use mine. So in here, create a new YAML file called comment date underscore data dot YAML and then paste it in like that and check that the indent is right, which I think it is. Okay, so now we will load it by running the management command. So open up the terminal and then copy, paste it in. And this load data is the Django management command, which is really good to use. And we'll load, we'll get this raw data here and create, add it straight into our database, create all these database objects without having to go through the ROM and create things manually. There you go. You've installed those 14 objects. And if we, just to give you, to show you them, run it, it's fine. And go to main tables, that will open, and comment. And you can see there they are. And anyone's cat obsessed with knocking things off tables? Um, anyone's cat obsessed with knocking things off tables? Okay, now we click to run, the most exciting part. And there we go. Anyone else's cat obsessed with knocking things off tables is there yet again. I should say, if you don't load the data like we did before, this would just be a blank page because there's no data. Okay, and now let's reply to one of these. So let's reply to this one, let's say. I think, way to look at things. And then a picture of a smiling a cat. There we go. <laughs> now let's submit that. And there we go. I think there's only one way to look at things. And you can see it's anonymous user because our, and our cat emoji there as expected. One extra thing to say here, now that we've done this, if you want to see this code and run it immediately, I strongly recommend trying out Sucumio here, which is by uh, a friend called Zach, who's also a solo creator and Django the dev. And so if we click here on the project fork page, you can just simply create your fork like that. And this is a quick way to deploy Django. And there you go, boom. We've got all of the code that I've been describing. You can see there's our sim app there, and you can see all the database commands are running automatically, and then we can actually visit our project. So let's do that. Let's quickly load our data in here. And we run connect. And so then we go to manage.py load data, comment data as before, but we're gonna run this in our Sucumio fork. And the only slight difference here is we need to add a three to the end of that. I think Zach's changing that, but that's what we need to do. And there we go, we just ran it just as we did as before. And now if we go to our project, perfect. So, I mean, yeah, what a, what a fast way to run Django. And you can just click and fork my project there and you'll get right into it. And completely, it's a, it's a complete Django app running online. I'm creating loads of Django content weekly, link to my mailing list in the description below to get all that content plus details of my product, Photons Designer, which is a way to build Django really quickly, specifically Django front end and the alpha has just been released. So I um, yeah, it's really exciting to see people using it. Anyway, besides that, I'm making loads of Django, Django content. Here are a few more videos.